But even if that uh, uh, Hamas commander was there amidst all those Palestinian refugees who are in that in that Jabalia refugee camp, Israel still went ahead and, and dropped a bomb there, uh, attempting to kill this Hamas uh, this Hamas, Hamas commander, knowing that a lot of innocent civilians, men, women, and children, presumably would be killed. Is that what I'm hearing? That's not what you're hearing, Wolf. We again were focused on this. Commander, again, who you'll get more data who this man was, uh, killed many, many Israelis. Uh, we're doing everything we can. These are, it's a very complicated battle space. There could be infrastructure there. There could be tunnels there. Uh, we're still looking into it, and we'll give you more data as the hour moves ahead. But you know that there are a lot of refugees, a lot of innocent civilians, men, women, and children in that refugee camp as well, right? This is the tragedy of war, Wolf. I mean, we, as you know, we've been saying for days, Move south. Civilians that are not involved with Hamas, please move south. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to get a little we, bit more information. Uh, you knew there were civilians there. You knew there were refugees, all sorts of refugees. But you decided to still drop a bomb on that refugee camp attempting to kill the Hamas commander. By the way, was he killed? I can't confirm yet. I'll, there'll be more uh, updated. He, yes, we know that he was killed. About the civilians there, we're doing everything we can to minimize. Uh, I'll, tell it, I'll say it again. Sadly, they are hiding themselves within civilian population. And again, we are doing this stage by stage. And we're going to go after every one of these terrorists who was involved in that heinous attack on the 7th of October.